Ladies and gentlemen, our first guest for this evening is one of Australia's finest all-round talents. You've seen him in the castle and, of course, Boy Town, and he's also written, directed and produced The Librarians. It gives me great pleasure to welcome to the show Mr Wayne Hope. Hello. Am I making out with this? Well, we can. Yes, there are all sorts of... Maybe we'll see, we'll see him going. Hello, everybody. Hi. Thank you for coming in. That's fine. Firstly, the, You're uh, higher than I am, and that's fine, too. I... <laughs> Thank you. I feel like my desk is really, now, you know, though. straight away. It's, Hi. So, I, so <laughs> I'm in the special chair. Is this better? I mean, <laughs> and I'm lower. I mean, is, that be is it better? No, lower still. I can't. No, that's fine. Up I you can't. get. No, no, okay. no, you, no, you can't. You, no, I'm looking now. You need to be. <laughs> and I'll compensate. And I was nervous that, that we so. weren't going to get off to a smooth start. No, no, that was smooth. That went very well. <laughs> The first, the first thing I did want to ask you mm. is, I did a stage adaptation of The Castle. Did you? And uh, <laughs> did many, you? many years ago I did, I played, I auditioned for Dale, but when I first walked in, uh, they said, have you thought about reading for Con? And I said, you think I look Italian, don't you? Uh, <laughs> but obviously being in the movie, did you get people offering you elephants with their trunks up constantly? Is that a metaphor? Are we, no. No? No. Uh, I... Uh, <laughs> I oh, know I've never had someone offer up their trunk, as it were, <laughs> to me from the librarians. Oh, I get lots of people saying, uh, <laughs> saying, uh, quoting the lines. People hold that film, yeah, so, so fondly, and uh, people have sections of the film that they've committed to memory. And you know, they'll often come up and go, "Hey, hey," you know, at the lights. How's mum? How's dad? <laughs> and you know, it's lovely, but. I know the lines. <laughs> if it helps, I had to say, loses its moisture every night for about two months. So, um, Bring the house down? <laughs> never. No. It's why that film was popular, it's got me stuff. <laughs> You've done so much work on Australian TV. You, you worked on the McAuliffe program, mm. uh, which in my book is the best sketch show Australia's ever produced. Is that fair? Oh, done. Yeah, without doubt. Uh, look, I, I think there's a pocket of um, all boys, that when that was on, between the age of kind of 11 to 20, it kind of caught that group. And um, they absolutely love, love the show. Um, my mother, however, when that show was on, uh, you couldn't get through kind of six minutes of it. And my stepfather at the time, he's dead now, so I can bag him. Um, <laughs> Can I bag him as well? <laughs> you may after this. He famously one night, I think the first couple of episodes, and I proudly sat down to go, watch this, it's a great Australian show. It's very clever, Sean McCarthy's brilliant. And he, about six minutes in, turned to me and went, this is shite, and switched it off <laughs> at that point. <laughs> wow, there's no place like if it, home. If it helps. <laughs> I think our whole studio audience did the first thing in our first episode of Studio A. So did that, you know, right. It's a lot. It's a lot worse when it's live at the time and they're doing it. But um, now you, you're working with uh, Robin Butler. Obviously, I am. Uh, you, you guys have co-created the librarians together. Mm -hmm. um, is it true? Because you play her partner as well in in the show. Yes. Is it true that your whole marriage was actually part of you kind of getting into character for the show? Uh, what that that's. The, the whole thing is just a construction. Yeah, your marriage to... in real life, your two kids. Is this just method acting that's got out of control? Well, <laughs> well, the first, in the first, the first time you meet the husband in series one, Francis, Robin plays Francis, uh, my wife in the show and, and in real life, and she walks in on Terry. Terry's a sad man, uh, quite under the thumb, and she walks on, in on him in the shower masturbating. And... <laughs> That's how we're kind of introduced to this, uh, <laughs> this, this character. And it is not like that in real life. <laughs> Any of you it's out not. there thinking it's a reality show? It's not, okay? <laughs> um, the show's had great success. Y you guys have just finished filming the, the third series? The third series we uh, wrapped last uh, Wednesday. It was the last day of filming. Um, first time I filmed in winter in Melbourne. Um, last time we will film in winter in Melbourne. It was uh, hideous out there. And of course you film and it's supposed to be neutral season. So you never give away that it's one season or the other because it can never be consistent. So 
have the poor thing of uh, Robin's in 99% of the show and, you know, you, you only ever wear kind of long sleeves is about as bold as it gets. So you'd kind of strip her off down to that layer and shove her outside. We're filming outside the last three weeks we're on location. And, um, you know, you could see the fog coming out of her mouth and, you know, we'd quickly try and do a take and then bundle her back up. Um, and it was absolutely shocking, but uh, had a ball. So with you guys working together, uh, uh, you know, a lot and obviously... You're going to get back to this masturbating thing, aren't you? I promise you. <laughs> Go on. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, because now I'm going, well, oh, should I? No, no I no. won't. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, you wrote it yeah. together. Yeah. It, were you tempted to write your character in more as the writing went on? And do you ever, do you ever argue about who Don't, gets portrayed see, as who? Robin, Robin, you know, she, she may be at home laughing right now because she thinks that I always, that Terry started off just as like a one cutaway idea and that I kind of, you know, often when we're writing or stuff, go, it could be good if Terry came in right now. <laughs> just, just had a little, she reckons that he wasn't existed in the, in the first draft and consequently, you know, now in the third series he's kind of got a, major storyline, but I can't be in it too much because I direct the show and I can't kind of jump in front of the uh, camera. And that's why this series, two of the episodes of the eight episodes are directed by Tony Martin, yep. who I think has been a guest on this show before. And um, we got Tony in to, be, to do a couple of eps where I was in it a lot. And uh, he's completely ruined them. He's an <laughs> idiot. Late show was a fluke. Uh, <laughs> He's a disaster. Martin Malloy, flu. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Malloy. We've got a... Uh, Did the heavy lifting. <laughs> we've got a, a, a clip to show from... This is from the second series? This is from the second series. Uh, the, the two female characters, uh, Frances is the head librarian and Christine is the children's librarian. And in the second series she was pregnant and uh, this is how she felt about it. What's the matter? Yeah, what's the matter, Chrissy? I just found out I can't have a cesarean. Why do you need a cesarean? What do you think? We're what? so, you know, you. It's a shame the ABC switchboard only has 90 lines because <laughs> when they all light up, it's a sight to see. Beautiful uh, to watch. It's Beautiful lovely to watch. watch. Um, when, can, when can people see season three? Season three will screens? be on, uh, be probably uh, October sometime on ABC, uh, around uh, 8.30 Wednesdays. Great. Now, Wayne, I have uh, one very quick last question to ask you. That is, you're a married man, which in my head means you're successful with the opposite sex. You've won this game. Uh, God, now, I'm me and... boast, but it's okay. <laughs> 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 me and some of the cast are going speed dating on Friday night uh, because we're desperate, lonely comedians. Do you have any tips for us? Uh, location, location, location. <laughs> Are you saying that speed dating is the wrong location? <laughs> I'm talking everything, with your date, where it is, all, all manner. I, advice for a speed dating, don't do it, frankly. <laughs> You're going to come back a bit later on and help us out with a sketch? Sure, love to. Ladies and gentlemen, Wayne Hope.